Welcome to the world of Jones Nose. Are you looking for a modern color vinyl? Join me in Miami Beach today on Jones Nose. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. South Beach install. Let's go in and take a look. Boy, they are big on the signage here. But that keeps the homeowners association dues down. How you doing? Nice to see I'm you. Tim, Hunter, Tristan. Hunter, Tristan, nice to see you guys. Going up. Yeah. How are we doing today? Good. Good. <sighs> We're excited. If you're excited, then I'm excited. Alright, you got some new core. What color is that? It's a glacier or a white oak or something? Glacier. Uh, okay, glacier. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice lighter color. Hey, Tell me what we're doing. All right, so we're going to do basically everything that's this tile. So we come in, we're doing this, doing we're this. doing this, yeah. doing this, yeah. here, 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 and then there. So none of the bathrooms. None of the bathroom. bathrooms. Okay. Right, so we don't need to do the bathrooms there. Okay. So what happened again now? So the. Uh, grout was loose on the tiles and the tiles looked like this and so it was kind of loose and so we think that the guy probably broke the tile and we had some old ones that were in the closet and they just used those or replaced them instead of yeah and just left it just like that huh yeah, yeah not not nice not, <laughs> not, 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 not uh, you know but that that got you some business like hey that. you know so, what uh, my, my son what did, what did you call it hunter an accent tile yeah, he goes, check out that. I didn't tell him what happened. He's like, check out the accent tiles. I'm like, that is why we are uh, doing the job for these uh, three tiles or so. But I tell you what, man, he would have, he he would want to be covering this up there. Or anyways, after a while, you can see it just, it's not. You're never gonna get it all the way clean. Yeah, I don't think so. You have a nice uh, palette collection there, I guess we'll call that. Some of this is from all the closets that I removed when I was scrapping and repainting things. And yeah, this is like the most makeshift palette. It's like, a, uh, I thought it was like some kind of retro artwork yeah. or something. Like South yeah. Beach, yeah, like oh, yeah, yeah, deco yeah, yeah, artwork. Yeah, yeah, Are you a sculptor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just trash. No problem. So let's just get going with it. South Beach, a few blocks from the ocean. We put in some really cool looking uh, light color, almost a whitish Nucor. Everybody knows Nucor is one of my favorite vinyls. So we put in the Nucor vinyl and I think it came out amazing. We went over the top of tile, which the tile here, I'll be honest, I usually love working over tile because they're perfectly level. It's an older place and the tile wasn't so perfect, but the Nucor was able to bend and flex enough that you really can't tell it feels nice and solid still. It's a nice cork backing, really absorbs sound on the new cork. I'm a big fan of it. And for a light color floor, I'm really happy with this. Sometimes you have the light color floors and the joints, you can really see them because they're too dark, but not this floor. The joints in this floor are really tight, 
and they really don't show up, which is a lot of times a problem with light colored floors. So let's go ahead and take a look at the finished job. We did two bedrooms and a living room kitchen area. This is the master bedroom here. It's a good size master with a bathroom off the side of it. We have a pretty good size step down. So we put a T-molding on an angle. I like a T-molding on an angle instead of a reducer because it's less of an edge to trip over. Uh, we went with a nice one by six modern profile baseboard. Uh, the baseboard still needs to be caulked and finished, uh, painted and stuff like that. Uh, we're not painters, we just install it. Uh, it continues on to the walk-in closet here. It's a good size walk-in closet. We ran the baseboard in here as well. I like to run the floor the direction that the light flows, as you see here. You walk down the boards as you walk into the room. And when you're in the room, looking into the closet and the rest of the house, the light flow is going that way, and that's the way the boards run. So when you walk into this room, you're also looking down the planks. It's a smoother look. It's less busy, less choppy, like that cutting board kind of look when they're running the opposite way. And it's a nice, smooth, uh, subtle look when you look at it with your eyes versus running it across and it looks really choppy. So always run the direction that you walk into the rooms and light flow if you can. Those are really important. So as we continue from the bedroom into the kitchen area, uh, we did a quarter round that needs to be painted under the cabinets here. I decided to glue it in instead of nailing it so it wouldn't be nail holes. And if they ever want to change it, it comes off a lot easier gas oven so we did not go under the oven all the way but we did go under the front legs of the oven and you can't tell that it doesn't go under all the way the refrigerator was a different story we went all the way under that we were careful to lay the floor up to the front of it then we rolled it out onto the completed floor laid the floor behind it and then rolled the fridge back in what you want to do with refrigerators when you have refrigerators, you want to roll them straight out. You don't want to twist or turn. That's when they can damage your floor. So if you lay it out just right and you lay the floor properly, you should not have to twist or turn this refrigerator. Just roll it straight out onto the floor and straight back in, and you won't damage your floor. So from here, this is going to be a little washer and dryer area. The floor continues on in there. And we decided to do the AC closet here just because they had tile and then they had tile going into here and we wanted to keep it all on the same level. So they're gonna go ahead and silicone that so that the edges are protected and if this ever leaks, that water won't go under the floor, which is really important. Uh, from here, we carried on to the front of the house. This is where you came in the front door. This door I'll never forget was a lot of fun. We had to cut this door and I'll, I'll just do a video and show how we cut it. But the problem here was we could not take the pins out. We had to actually take the hinges off. And this area here looked like Swiss cheese behind the, the hinges. Uh, there was more holes. This floor has probably been taken off a hundred times, it looks like. And there's basically no good wood left to screw into. So I had to get five inch screws in order to put the door on properly and not have it rub in the top corner here, which is perfect now. I think we actually left it better than when we started the job. So from the front door, it continues on to a little bathroom in the front. I love this bathroom, by the way. This is the craziest bathroom, huh? Yeah, it used to be all most blue mosaic tile. I, was like, I saw like the remote. It looked like the like you were controlling the space shuttle with that remote. <laughs> yeah, that's the I was like, day. wow, that you could we're blast off with that paper. thing. Yeah, we were running out of toilet paper, so yeah, it's kind of bit... Even the lamp looks like complicated, <laughs> <laughs> high tech. And it's all her brainstorming. Her <laughs> Beautiful bathroom. I got more. The remote's more complicated than my TV remote. Uh, from here, we go into one of the second bedroom, into the closet. It flows. I love the five-inch or one by six modern ba baseboard. It gives it just that really modern, nice look. It really goes nicely with this floor. The 5180 that I use on a lot of jobs with the two curves at the top is more of a traditional look. Uh, with the square profile like this, just matches this floor really nicely. And we continue into the living room and out to the patio here. 
Uh, we did no threshold at the back doorways. I hate thresholds. I try not to use them whenever possible. And we just went ahead and caulked the edge of this where it met the slider. And we did the same thing at the front door. We did not do a molding there either. We went right up to the old metal saddle that they had. Well, the nice thing about vinyl, it doesn't expand a lot, so we were able to go pretty tight to it. And it looks like it's under it, but it's not. It's just right up to it. My experience, floors, whether they're laminate or vinyl, whatever they are, do not expand as much on the short ends this way as they do on the long end. So if you are going to go tight to something, make it on the short end of a board, no matter what product you're installing. And same thing, if, when you walk into these rooms, you're looking down the planks, which is just a nice smooth look. I really like this white colored floor from Nucor. It gives this place a really modern, clean look, perfect for a beach area. We're on South Beach, and I couldn't have picked a better floor had I picked it myself. Yeah, I really, I tell you what, she did good by picking this baseboard. It, it I can't visualize it with the other base now that I see it with this one. Yeah, yeah the white, sure. white is modern. The white floor, whitish floor like that, it's a modern look. And the other base is nice, I use it all the time, but it just not, it doesn't scream modern like sure. this does. With yeah. the kitchen, cabinets, and the stainless, it's just, it's it's yeah. definitely a good good call that she made. Bless her, she loves options. That's how she found you in the first place. Just like looking on YouTube for every option available and stuff. Yeah. So that works out great a lot of the time, but then sometimes when there needs to be a decision made, always for a color like floor or baseboards and things like that. It's tough with. though. Uh, it's really tough to make yeah. a you know you go to the so store. There's so many choices now, especially with vinyl nowadays. This is just beachy kind of look, South Beach, modern. I like it. Really important, I think, in a furniture you're moving. Put felt protection on everything. You know those little peel and stick felts? Yes. That is probably the single most important thing that you need to do. You don't put it on it, and it, these floors don't dent easy. I like the old vinyl do, but if it's something really heavy, it could dent it without it. But mainly is if you have like a dining room chair or a kitchen chair and you slide it back and forth all the time, the felt will protect it from scratching it. Got it. Alright, so I think, I think set. you're all set. Alright. Uh, where do I owe you? Okay, so you were at, um, we were at two and we added the baseboard and I told her um, it was extra for the door cutting. Mm -hmm. So I, um, the baseboard, so it was 190 I told her extra. And then we cut um, four doors. I told her 60, but I'll do them for 50. So 200 for the doors, 190. So the 20, uh, 1390, right? Is that right? 200 and 190. And screws as well? Don't worry about it. I'm just including that with door cuts. Okay. Well, yeah. 1400? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Sure. We're all set. It looks good. It looks awesome, guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Time. Thank you for the it's business. Awesome. I hope you're happy with everything. Absolutely. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl. Plus, we do my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl, and I even put them head to head. I run them over, I dunk them, I submerge them, I do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite flooring mallet, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Take a 
stepping 